y'all fans need to relax. You need to relax because I am not here to hate on the game. I'm here to just point out the flaws so we can get everything fixed before the game comes out. I don't want a bunch of fixes needing to happen when I done paid $100 for the game. That's all I'm saying. Now let's look at a comment real quick from Mobsters Gaming. Pointless video. You're using Zitiverse 2 footage for talking about sparking zero. You, uh, what else am I supposed to use? The video that you commented on, that, that this whole video was based off of, was off of a glitch or a bug in Sparking Zero. I don't know what you want from me. This video is off of comments from a video that involved Sparking Zero and the glitches and bugs in it. A major one where you're gonna promote beam clashes as your biggest thing, yet you still got bugs and glitches in the demo. I'm not saying that there's not gonna be bugs and glitches. I'm just saying, if that's your big talking point, then you need to make sure there isn't anything there so people can criticize it. That's all I'm saying. Let's continue. Both games are made by different teams, so you don't know what you're talking about. Bandai is the publisher, not the game developer. No shit, Sherlock. I know that they are the damn publishers and not the developers. I know... The developers don't have any money. It's the producers. The producers are the ones that make deadlines and that, that, that cause all this confusion to a lot of people. You think that I don't know that? Why do I not say the... Why do I not say Dimps? Why do I not say C2? Why do I not blame the developers? Because Bandai is the common source. Bandai is the common factor. Every game that they've had come out since Fighters has been ass. Total ass. That means that you can't blame the developers. You have to blame the producers. Bandai Namco. That's what I'm saying. So relax. Relax, my guy. Comment number two. Look at this. Look at this. Would you would you just look at it? Your name is Hidden Horrors, bro. Your name is Hidden Horrors. I have an original name. Oh, you, oh, oh I can't talk bad about people because I got a comment about that too because I said something about people that don't work. It's like, I don't care. <laughs> if you don't know what you're talking about, then shut up. You commented on my video, so you're free reign, baby. I can do whatever I want with these comments. You don't want me talking about you? Don't post a comment. You can just like the video or dislike the video and go on about your merry way. Yet you decided to comment. I will say whatever I want. I'm in the terms of service, baby. So let's look at what Hidden Horrors had to say. You don't know what you're talking at all. Hold up. <clears throat> you don't know what you're talking about at all. Yes, your way of testing is improper and unreasonable. The reasons why Zeno is so broken is because it's made by Demps. There you go. There you go. You tell me Kakarot wasn't a pile of trash? You telling me that Kakarot was better than Zeno? There is no after gameplay. There is no there is no end of game gameplay. Because once you beat the story, it's done. What you gonna do, race cars? At least with fighters, it has online competitiveness. Xenoverse 2 had online competitiveness. Like, I need you to relax and quit being mad because I'm talking bad. I'm not even talking bad about Spark and Zero. I'm saying that there are things that should never have even been brought up if you're gonna only let certain people test the game. That's all I'm saying. As in the game itself, it's developed by Demps. You know who isn't developing Sparkin' Zero? Demps. You know who is? Spike Chunsoft. You know what Spike Chunsoft has? A pretty decent rep for their games. Go ahead and shit this one out. You thought you ate with that one, didn't you? You thought you ate with that little shit. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna need you to shut your redneck ass up. I'm gonna need you to shut your hillbilly ass up, your corn-fed ass up. Because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Not in the least. Spike Chunsoft, right? 
What did they make recently? Oh, look right here. Spike Chunsoft, the game's archive, baby. Yeah. I don't know any of these games. Y'all ever played any of these games? Because I haven't. I, I have never heard of any of these games. And we're a lot of games in. And I don't see the one thing that I know Spike Chunsoft for. They didn't even post it. That's crazy. That's crazy. They didn't even post it. Here, let's let's go to where they did post it. Uh, Spike Chunsoft made Jump Force. Spike Chunsoft has made an arena fighter before. This is not a good look. What record are you talking about, sir? Because I don't see it. I don't see it. Because Jump Force was garbage. So I need you to do me a solid and watch your mouth. Keep your tone low and relax. It's not that deep that they're not a great developer. Because I'm not, I'm not blaming them no way. So, yeah, as I said, they don't have a good track record either. Because I ain't never heard of none of these games except for Jump Force. Last comment I want to look at is from Eric Jones. Now, Mr. Eric, you are the epitome of people that don't make any sense. Just don't buy it, my guy. Simply put, you're asking for perfection, but you said you want a good game. I'm not asking for perfection. I want a game that works properly on the day of release. On the day of release. And if I'm able to buy it three days early, it should work properly three days early on the 8th. The other thing is, Do you not see what I'm doing? I'm gonna make my money back off of this game regardless. I'm not saying this because I'm spending the money. I'm saying this because people like you are spending the money. They're not hurting me. I will be able to make enough content to make $100 back off of this. But I would feel some type of way if I was in your shoes. I'm not worried about this. I will be able to get my money back within the first week of this game. Within the first two weeks of this game, at minimum, I've got my money back. I'm not making these videos for me. I'm making them for y'all. I don't need perfection. I need quality. That's what I need. You see a few bugs and you're losing your shit. You compare $50,000 for a truck... Oh, let me rephrase. You comparing 50k truck problems versus a hundred dollar game. Yep. See, and and that's the issue. And when I pay for something, I want to pay for what I paid for. They test trucks. They te I also used the example of computers, but you didn't you didn't use that. I also used the example of fast food, but you didn't use that. And the problem is, you I'm not comparing them because they're the same price. I'm comparing them for their quality. I can compare Nike shoes with good room shoes that are great value brand and they will still hold the same rep. As you can see in the last comment, he bagged me for comparing Xenoverse, the same priced game for this. And I'm just sitting here going, dude, y'all need to relax. You don't know what you're talking about and y'all are getting too upset over it. I'm not, nobody lost. I didn't lose my shit. What are you talking about? Timestamp where I lost my shit. Like, what are we doing here? Y'all need to grow up. Y'all need to grow up. Shout outs to Subarashiki Loud. Shout outs. There are people in the chat that understand. And I see that. I'm making these videos for you guys because people like Eric don't get it. They just don't get it. And I don't blame you for not getting it. You just don't see it the way we see it. And I have no Ill, Ill will towards none of y'all. Horror, whatever your name is, and the first guy. I don't... I have no ill will towards you guys. I'm just trying to put this out there so they don't just sit there and go, Oh, yeah, we're making great stuff. We're making the best games possible. Because nobody calls them out on their shit. I just need them to make a good game. And a good game is not a perfect game. That's all I'm saying.
Relax. Y'all need to relax. It's not that deep. Because I'm going to make my money back when I buy it regardless. I make these videos for y'all. I'm going to buy the game. I'm very excited for the game. But I don't want to see dumb issues in here like what we've had shown to us previously. We don't need that. That's not what I paid for. For those of y'all that have stayed at this point, you guys are goaded. I'll see y'all in the next video.